hello and welcome to the channel make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already it's completely free so this is the brand new kia ev9 now the most positive thing i can say about this car specifically is how it looks close to its concept you know i'm all for it you know i love it when companies decide to go with the concept and then make their final production version of the car closer to the concept i really really like that idea unlike certain companies that will just design these amazing looking concept vehicles and then completely botch the production version of the said vehicle so this ev9 can seat up to seven people it's kind of like a a close comparison to the rivian r1s or even the Tesla Model X, but I feel like I get way more room with the EV9 than I would with the Tesla Model X or the Rivian R1S. But who knows? I have not actually been inside a R1S, but I am curious to see more about this SUV. Let's get it. All right, so this is the interior. As you can see, it looks very similar to the Ionic 5 as well as the Kia EV6. Uh, I guess this is the style they're going with. This is a 12 point, was it 12.3 or 12.5 display right here. And then you have your, this another additional display, like the one on the Ionic 5, the one that I have, there's a little bit of a gap right here. It's, it's weird, but this one I feel like it's more flushed in. And then you have access to your temperature gauges and all that stuff right here. Like one of my biggest issues, I guess, with my car is during the daytime, this this way here is kind of like a, like silver and it's not gray like how this one is for the uh, the EV the EV9. So during the daytime when it's really bright outside, it's hard for me to see which button is which. But that's just, you know, <laughs> that's my issue right there. Um not a deal breaker or anything like that. And as of course, you have other different options here. You got two cup holders as well as the wireless charging I'm assuming is right over here. And then you have your sensor and all that other stuff too, as well as auto hold. I have that one for me on my Ionic 5. It's like to the side over here. And um, yeah, uh, the gray interior is like meh, honestly, I don't really care for it. You guys know I'm not a big fan of, um, of those interior, but I do like this seat, how it swivels. You can actually swivel it and you can be facing the other people that in the back side so wouldn't that be tight if you guys can like put a table right there in the middle and then you can play some cards on a long trip to vegas or wherever it is you guys want to go and of course you can put all the seats down folds all the way flat and you can fit additional cargo now i did see that um uh that it showed here on the display it's about 424 uh, kilometers so that comes around to 263 miles which is you know that's pretty good for a SUV this size um, I cannot wait to see more information and if I sound funny it's because I have a cold and um, <laughs> it took a lot out of me to make this video so anyway here goes the display is a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster a 12.3 inch infotainment system and a 5 inch display display that promises to improve the digital experience a uh, digital instrument cluster suggests we can expect a range in excess of 298 miles or 480 kilometer, which is, you know, that's good. That's good. It's really good. Suggested that it could start from around 56,000 for the base model, topping at over 70,000 for the flagship. And of course, since this is such a brand new vehicle, um, the Kia uh, dealerships are going to try to, you know, take you to the cleaners with this. Um, I really like the, the overall design of this vehicle. Um, I think it's way better than the the EV6, especially with the amount of room that you get. Everybody's going to be comfortable. And uh, I'm just curious to see what kind of battery or how big of a battery that's in it to get that amount of range. Obviously, it's going to be a bigger battery than what's in the Ionic 5 as well as the EV6, which uses the 77 point. Is it 77.5? I'm just guessing on top of my head here. I could be wrong. Uh, kilom uh, kilowatts. Um, so that's what I have in my Ionic 5 that uses that big battery. And it gets me 
right now with the cold, I think I'm getting like 180 or 90 because um, I mostly commute on highways and not city. When I'm driving city, I'm getting way better um, range. I think it gets up to 220 um, on a single charge. And expect a huge drop during the winter. It has been shown time and time again that you know, the range really drops like a stone when it comes to the cold. So make sure you do your due diligence when you decide to purchase any EV vehicles. Um, what kind of usage are you going to use it for? Um, how often are you going to be driving? Are you driving city, highway? That kind of stuff. Make sure you do your research <laughs> before you, um, you buy one of these because sometimes it's hard to find uh, spots to charge and those public chargings, some of them are not in operating conditions. I've, I've shown a video just like that where um, a couple of the charges were, you know, couldn't use it. I couldn't charge my car. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of the EV9. Um, I dig it, especially this right here. I, I can I can definitely, I dig this one. And of course, there's always going to be a lot more room in the backside too. I think there's going to be way more room. Um, because you need room in order to swivel that um, that seat around. And also another thing here, you can see it has a vent for AC, which is huge, especially during the summer times or even during the winter. Now, I wonder if, if the, um, the captain chairs also have heated seats and what kind of features it's going to be available on the vehicle. As always, I will leave a link in the description if you wanna go check out more information about the EV9. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.